I always wondered, right? Uh, not not to get sidetracked. We can go yeah, back yeah. into the story. I mean, it, I mean um, this, this is entire thing. Yeah, been a whole I, I, right now. I've been like, I always wondered if, because I, I, I don't think any of us understand the world of chemistry. Yeah, and, and I yeah. think when you're watching it, it's hard to gauge. I'm like, am I watching someone who is extremely knowledgeable and an expert at what they're doing? Or am I watching a guy who is just winging it and also just seems really good? Like, I don't like- Is this a call out? No, no, I'm asking, I'm asking, I'm asking like, I, like if I would have like, I, on the level of like chemistry professionals, where where do you, where would you place, like, where would you sit? Like, cause like, I I, I don't know. Like, cause I, I it's completely out of my depth. Yeah, and it I'm all like, looks yeah. insane to us. It's so yeah. absurd to me where I'm like, this dude could tell me he is like one of the most knowledgeable chemistry people of all time. And I'd be like, yeah, I believe it. <laughs> I should totally make that claim. <laughs> no, no, no. So what's, what's kind of interesting is I remember, I mean, to, to jump ahead, like I, started doing all the chem stuff after I finished a biochem degree mm, and I was right. a lab tech. Then I ended up being uh, a chemistry master student. Okay. And that's when I started, I started pushing the envelope of like <laughs> things that I felt were quote unquote like safe. Okay. <laughs> I say like, it's like, I felt safe doing them. Yeah. But like, I started just, I guess like being having more confidence in myself, mm -hmm. but I would ask my lab mates, for help being like, oh, what do you know about this chemical? Yeah. And it's when I start to realize that like, most people don't know like a broad t range of chemistry. Right. Yeah. They're very like- Specialized. The moment you get into grad school, you start doing like projects that are in a certain realm. Right. But when you ask, I'd ask the person, well, how do you distill and purify sulfuric acid? And they're like, I don't, I buy it. <laughs> like, why would you do that? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'd be like, well, how do you work with bromine? And they're like, I, I've never worked with it before. Uh, and in chemistry, there's a lot of like, I call them like boogeyman chemicals yeah. because mm -hmm. people will never work with it, but they just hear from a friend of a friend that it's really scary. Mm, yeah. So when I was in one of the labs, they're like, they kept saying bromine. If you, if, if you like go near it, it does this and this. If you get it on your skin, you lose like, it was like so hyped up, <laughs> but everyone- <laughs> Your new bromine drop. <laughs> but every, everyone's just so fearful that like, I'm fearful wanting to make it, right, right, but yeah. nobody can help you because no one's ever made it. Right, right. right. And almost nobody's worked, like a lot of people haven't worked. Like, I want to enrich uranium. No reason why. <laughs> Just wondering, does anyone know how to do it? <laughs> but like the reason I'm saying this is that I start to realize that most people don't have like a, they know a lot about one topic. Mm. They right, don't have a right. huge range of Broad chemistry. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, so what I realized that my skill was not being great at one thing. Right, it was being right. like mediocre at a lot of stuff. So like, you're not going to make any breakthroughs, but you, you have a very good understanding of the general I, I guess like any fields. breakthrough, because there there were some things like, for example, like when I was looking on making like, I say like aerogel superconductors, mm. there's people probably out there who know how to do it properly, but yeah, the info yeah. is not publicly available. Mm. Oh, so you made and it more public. So it's like, I have to come up with a method. And yeah. it's like, for, for example, one thing I did was ferrofluid. There's no <laughs> recipe on the internet. Like no, huh. there was not a single recipe or tutorial oh, wow. on how to make it. Mm. So like, I was super proud when I came up with something that was literally the only method on the internet. Huh. Right, do, right. Do, do, you, do you ever get like a lot of people like emailing you or it's telling fair you like- foods like everywhere. But I also like, tell oh, them I made it, it's yeah. one of the most finicky things ever. Like I've tried to make it like eight times and it fails like seven out of eight times and I don't even know why. Huh. Um, right. But it's like, your question was like, am I really good? Yeah, or am yeah, I, yeah. I think I just built a confidence of knowing like how to see something new okay. and then navigate it safely. Huh. I think uh, it's also, you have the confidence to actually try it out physically, right? Whereas like, I, as you were saying, like a lot of other chemists would just be, like be too scared to even try it. Yes, feel, and the yeah. big problem is since there'd be, a, you can't get, there, you'd have to find the people who work with it specifically to get help. Mm, right. Because yeah. the average chemist can't help you. Mm. Um, so like even recently, one thing I worked with was hydrofluoric acid, mm. which is like, and the pro, like a lot of these chemicals that I would work with the first time, it's like legitimately you don't see in the videos, mm, yeah. but it's like I would be like shaky for certain things mm. because not only am I working with it, I have to film. So it's sometimes like weird, awkward positions and I have to do things quickly. And but if I spill it on me, it's really bad. Right. Yeah. right. So it's like not only am I working with the chemical, I like practice a little bit. <laughs> like, but, but you gotta get like, the shot. <laughs> but I'm not so familiar that I'm super comfortable. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um and it's, it's terrifying. Like, and with hydrofluoric, I'd ask some people who work with it and they would give you tips, mm. but it's like what kind of tips? Don't. <laughs> well, you, you know you know what you're supposed to do. Don't get it on you. Yeah. Right, right. Like where you have to, there's all the protocols of like wearing gloves, you wear like a face shield, you wear, but it's still like nerve wracking because you've never worked with it before. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you kind of just have to, I think even if you're in a lab, like we trained some people when I was there uh, with chemicals that, 
we would say they're dangerous. You can't get it on you. And like mm. this, people would be like shaky. Mm. Right. But we would have to be like, that's just part of it. Like you have to get used to working with, <laughs> it wasn't too crazy, but it's like when you come from working in labs where it's like all like more or less just like completely yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the other one is like, you just like don't, you don't want to breathe it in. So you have to be careful. You're not going to die if you get it on you. Like the stakes weren't that high. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But um, it won't be a fun time. But it, it you obviously pr probably be fine, but it's like, just cause you've never worked with it before, mm. yeah. you're like really afraid of spilling it. Mm. So it's like, and you're trying to like use like a glass pipe head and it's like, maybe put it in a tube. So you have to be pretty accurate. Yeah. And then when you see yourself shaking, that makes you more scared. <laughs> cause you're like now thinking you're going to spill it. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So you have to like, I find that that was a lot of, like just building a confidence that I'm yeah. like, okay, I've, I've tried a lot of stuff and. Do you ever worry that you make it look too easy? That no. it makes it. Makes That's it actually look, never occurred to really? me. Really? Like that you make it look like, oh, this chemical is well, really easy to work with. Oh. So it's actually a very good question because that's what, like not that fear directly of like whether I think it makes it too easy, mm -hmm. but I feel like I make <clears throat> chemistry look like not, it's not fun. No, no, not like, <laughs> I, won't, I won't, so I won't say like fake, Yeah. yeah. but it's kind of like the movie version you cut out all the fuck ups and yeah. there's no, no it's all clean it's, it's, it's all... not it's it's not even that like i people don't know when i plan my procedures like i plan beaker swaps and how it's going to appear in the camera huh. so it's like i won't fumble with things so like right. i will if i if i have to take a beaker out right away i will pour with my left hand and then move with my right huh. oh, or I'll, right. I'll plan like the movements of my hands oh, wow. and so it's like i if i have to like switch beakers and stuff i also huh plan how I'm going to pour it, how I'm going to add stuff. So it looks very clean, but yeah. like actual chemistry is insanely messy. Yeah, like right, when I'm yeah. off camera doing tests, there's just dirty beakers everywhere. Like things, sometimes I spill things and they fall over, yeah. but because yeah. I plan it so much, like let's say there's something here. Yeah. I plan the direction that I'm going to reach in and, how, and I even practice how I'm going to reach so I don't spill anything. So I don't knock Jeez. stuff. Like if I'm pouring something, I think it's going to be difficult. Yeah. I, I I practice like three times before I yeah, pour. Yeah, because it. in your videos you make it look very natural. Yeah, I, I yeah. very very smooth. Yeah, very very. Like, that's I, why I say it looks kind of like it's like the movie version mm. because I've practiced. And some of them, if I do screw up, I will redo the same thing like seven times until it looks smooth. Right. Yeah. Huh. right. Wow. Yeah, I always wondered if you maybe gave some people false confidence in handling some of these chemicals. With like, how damn, easy he made, it, he made that look. Yeah, easy. yeah, with how yeah. easy you make it look. Bring up liabilities. I should. No, 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 it's, no, no, it's, it's like watching a stuntman uh, jump off a thing and then roll. You're like, oh, it's so easy. I can do that. And then you, yeah. you do it and you fuck it up and you snap <laughs> you your neck. Your it's life. like it's like it's not it's not their f it's not your fault that you are pro like professional handling it. It's like. I always just wondered if there's ever that element to it where you're like, ah, fuck, I gotta I gotta make sure everyone knows this is fucking dangerous. Yeah, I, I I try to like slip it in. I, no, I, so I know I've watched I've watched like the bromine video, mm -hmm. uh, the ones that you've done with it, and it's it looks fucking terrifying. It looks like an Elden Ring fucking smog appearing. It's, <laughs> it's terrifying. You, you do get used to working with bromine though. Like that's the one thing. Like after a while, <laughs> you get used to it. Get used yeah. to it. Well, I'm saying it, I remember the first time I made it, like I was so right. terrified. Yeah. But then now it's just like you because you you know what it's capable of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I I don't think you've I tamed have, it. I might have spilled it on me before. You might uh, what? Like a splash on me. And then you, right. I, I, you, the thing is when you work, these are things you don't like, and they don't talk about. Like when you work yeah. with it, you have a bottle of something like, that's not an antidote, but no. it's like, it's, it will neutralize it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. it's right, just right. like you, when you work with it, you have to have that. And so if yeah. it gets on you. So just... if you get it on you, you just like, I would just be, ah, oh, and you spray it and it, just, it disappears instantly. Oh, okay. oh that's good. That's okay. good. So that's good. it's like, <laughs> Damn, I, this whole time I was, work, I was no, working but, with bromine so without it. You're yeah. still like very careful. No, of course, So yeah. it's like you wear all the gloves we'll and if, I, if I think it gets on my glove, you immediately take the glove off. Like yeah, I still yeah, don't yeah. want like, huh. Yeah, you, you, don't, want you, to, like, you don't want to risk it, obviously. You don't, you don't want to burn or anything. Oh, of course. Uh, huh. <laughs> I actually have a scar here. Are you serious? From what's, what? What's that from? From acid. Oh my God. But that wasn't from filming my own videos. What was, wait, what was it? It was actually for filming for Will. Oh my God. I was filming, or I don't remember. I think I think I was filming. Uh, yeah, I don't know if he was filming. Something was happening, and acid <laughs> spilled on me. But I didn't want to ruin the shot, <laughs> <laughs> so I just like I let it go until the shot was done. He's just holding the camera. Just, ah, yeah. <laughs> ah. Why was Come acid on. being sprayed? You, you were just like a YouTuber through and through. Yeah. You know, like I I feel like there are a few jobs. Anything for the shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel that there are a few jobs that can really- And that video is never posted. Oh, <laughs> it's in <laughs> Damn.
<laughs> yeah, I feel like there are a few jobs that can cater not only to <laughs> your expertise, but also your mentality when it comes to danger yeah. and all of the ideas that you want to do aside from being a YouTuber. I feel like getting the shot, like I've, I've burned myself before and everything just to make sure if the shot's nice, then you'll- Wait, say that again? Well, I, like, I, I mean, I've, 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 I said I've gotten burns like- <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Because like- you want, I thought you meant like self and yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I burn myself just to make sure that I know how to handle it. I was like, this looks sick. <laughs> yeah. ah! No, just like, how can you know if how can you know fire is dangerous if you've never burned yourself? What? So no, I don't know. I self inflicted for no reason. You know, the first video I ever saw of yours was, and this is before I ever started like mm. watching your stuff a lot. I remember it just popped up my recommended and I watched it and I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, it was one where you bought like anal lube. Oh, I knew you were gonna say that <laughs> because did that blow up like back in the day? Because like, how old is this video? Oh, that was one of the first early ones. I remember I saw this. You're like, I bought this brand new anal lube, never used, and it was like. What's funny is I don't, I don't think that was a joke. <laughs> no, no, like, I, but it sounded like you know, uh, no, like me thinks he protests too much, yeah. you know. <laughs> it was. I remember, like I obviously I remember yeah. doing it. Yeah. But yeah. I, I, what were you making of the anal lube again? I was getting the uh, the local anesthetic out of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what was funny though is like <laughs> at the time. What year was this? This must that must have been 2015 or something. Yeah, this is like I remember I watched yeah. this when I was like, like, that, I, like I, have to watch I was still in now. like fucking like school. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that you 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 were aware, you were aware of uh, those videos. Back oh, I then. didn't. I, so I watched that one. Never watched you again for like five mm. years because it was like I just watched this one video. And you're like, it's the yeah. anal lube guy. And then I remember I watched. I was recently watched back and I'm like, holy shit, this is the same voice as the anal lube dude. Yeah. So, so wait, explain the anal lube thing. So I, in the video. <laughs> I said like, now I got this anal lube, like brand new, sealed, never been opened. <laughs> and like, I was- Where's the phrase like that? <laughs> it's just, it's too good. It sounds so it sarcastic. Was so funny. But what happened was, it was it, it was weird. Cause like watching that really, t in my head, yeah, yeah. made me realize how different my content is now. Mm, yeah. Because my videos back then, yeah. I would just drag and drop the videos into the editor. Right. I'd pick up a mic and I would just say stuff. I don't even think I ever really said the line twice. <laughs> right. I just narrated what I saw. Yeah. Right. And I sometimes didn't even rewatch. I, I, for the first like, I would say probably three years of my channel, yeah. I never rewatched the video. That's, that's really? wild. Yeah. I to this day do not even understand how they're coherent because I would literally just say stuff as I saw the clips. Right. Right. Render upload. <laughs> And so like, but I remember with the anal loop part, it was, I think it was an actual concern of mine that people would, <laughs> the comments, the comments would be like, oh, I bet this is his. <laughs> yeah. So I think I was actually defending myself. Right. But it ended up Which just it. makes it look worse. <laughs> but, cause it, yeah. Cause I, you're just doubling down at that yeah. point, right? But it was like not like a, a joke when I did it. Right, right I know, right, but right, it makes right. it sound like yeah. you, you. But like yeah. rewatching this, it was absurd to me. I'm like, why did I say this not <laughs> sarcastically? Like I was genuinely defending myself. It's good, it's good. I'm sorry to bring that no, up. Does I, everyone bring that up? No, what's funny is that like, that's one of the ones that is brought up a lot. Mm, and right. even more even recently, so people say, shared like a screenshot. It was another guy on YouTube. He was like complaining about YouTube recommendations right. and he specifically referenced. He's like, what have I done to deserve this recommendation? He's like, no offense to the creator, but seriously, YouTube. And I was like, okay. And even like, I took a photo of it. I was walking through, I don't know, maybe it was actually, sorry, it was a different video. Okay. Right. Cause I was walking through Be like Best Buy yeah, right. and I saw on the random computer that one of my videos was recommended. This was like in 2019 and I was like super proud. Yeah. It, I remember now it was not the anal. I thought it was, but Which it one was. was it? It was like making like a, sedative or something. Oh, okay. Right. Not as fun. Not as fun no. as anal. For a second I in my head for a second I thought it was the anal lube one. Which would have been funny. <laughs> <laughs> Recommended at Best Buy.